All right, what's up, guys? We're back out here on the Hunter Classic, and I actually just shot a pretty nice mule deer. I He literally just caught me off guard, and I shot him. Uh, we're going to go track him eventually. I'll probably just do that off recording, and once I find him, if I do find him, I don't know if I made a great shot because I don't think I did. Uh, I shot him with the bow, but if I find him, I'll show it to you guys. But I have a little buck coming up behind me here. We're on uh, Timbergold Trails, I think. Yeah, I think that's what this map is. Hopefully, we can get this guy down real quick. And when I shot that other buck that I was talking, telling you guys about, there was another absolute, if what he looked like when he was running off, because I didn't know he was there, he just spooked when I shot the first one. He looked like a monster, so I'm hoping, I'm just going to chill up in the stand, uh, I'm hoping he comes back at some point here. So I would like to get him, and this guy is literally right underneath me here, I hope he does not spook. Can we actually look down that far? Oh, we can. Okay, we laid him out. There's so many does around me too. There's like five or six of them. That's not really a good thing, but we got a buck down. That's good. We're going to let him sit there for a minute. While we have kind of like a free free time here, let's let's claim him really quick. Definitely not a monster or anything like that, but we'll, we'll shoot him and get him out the way. 137. I think my personal best, we shot him, I think it was a couple months ago. Was he a 200 or something? Pretty nice one. But I'm just going to sit up here today. I've been sitting here since about 7 o'clock in game time, which I don't know converted i don't know how long an hour in game is compared to real life but i think i'm just gonna sit up here till maybe nine o'clock or something in game we'll see just how how my patience is and hopefully we can get some nice bucks or even elk oh there's a nice there's another buck right there if we can call these guys in well i'm gonna stop rambling now and let's do some freaking hunting boys let's see if we can drop some nice muleys or even some elk today so that buck that called a few minutes ago is right here i'm gonna let out a little call there keep them coming my way i think this guy's gonna come underneath us as well oh there's actually something else out there what is that it's a doe i can't look that far down you want to keep moving forward for me buddy that'd be real nice this guy looks even smaller than the last one i think he's kind of spooky right now i don't have scent eliminator on right now so it's kind of kind of sketchy don't know which way the wind's blowing i need to check that i just can't look down that far to shoot him all right here we go he's finally moving we go don't go underneath me again damn you okay he's gonna trot off now okay at least he didn't spook spook like take off running the main thing we don't want to happen right now is that this guy looks pretty decent I'm, I'm definitely gonna shoot this guy over this one right here this guy is much better over here coming up behind us it's the good thing about using a bow on this game is because you're super quiet and uh, it doesn't really spook things too too far away so you have a much better chance of bringing in a lot more animals when you're just sitting in a tree stand oh this guy's gonna come perfectly up to our side right here come on keep on going a couple more steps no don't go right underneath me come on whoa what the hell hey, that's not good i hate when they come right underneath your tree stand like that all right here we go hero come on what are you doing give me a shot already all right we smoked him right there in the lung We can keep eyes on him for as long as possible. All right. He's going to run off. We're going to take that shot, though, because I was getting real nervous there, man. My nerves were going because I had three deer around me, and I did not want them to speak because that's actually a pretty nice-looking buck there. So we got two nice bucks down right now, or hopefully two. I don't know about the first one I shot earlier that you guys didn't see. Uh, so I'm going to sit up here for a little longer. I'm going to let that guy run off and bleed out because we, we don't want to track him immediately because... He will actually spook if he's not dead because that's a really good mechanic in this game. It's very realistic. You actually need to sit back for 10, 20, 10, 15, 20 minutes in game time to let your animal, you know, fully die and bleed out. So I'm going to sit back here and once I feel that it's a good time, we're going to go track these guys. Man, let me tell you, I am so thankful for freaking tracer arrows right now because I would have never seen this guy. I, I would walk right past them, man. These tracers are amazing. They're so much better in this game than they are in Call of Duty. I mean, they're so much more useful. This is the guy I shot earlier and you guys didn't see. Let's see what he ended up scoring. I, I managed to get a left lung. Oh, wow. Left lung. Okay. Ooh. Wait, which one is this? Is this? Yeah, okay. This is the one I was just tracking that I shot earlier. Yeah, okay. 
186 so not bad i mean he's not a monster but i think we'll get a, a trophy shot with him real quick i'm gonna set this up and then i'll show you guys once i'm finished uh okay so i think that's gonna do it's kind of hard to do it on this hill but uh i like that kind of can't really see my face there but we'll work with it it's, it's not a monster anyways it doesn't really matter but it looks pretty cool doesn't hurt to take a picture of your pretty decent looking animals that you kill uh, one of you guys stated in my little hunt montage thing that I posted while I was on my trip uh, that you like how I try and make my trophy shots somewhat realistic, which sometimes when I have never really shot an animal in real life, you know, and I don't know how to take trophy shots with them. Like the other day I was hunting kangaroos and I don't know how the hell people take trophy shots with a kangaroo. And I looked it up on Google. I was like kangaroo hunting trophy shot or something like that. And then I looked how people in real life take trophy shots with them and I tried to basically do that in the game and it turned out pretty good so that's basically how i do that if i ever want ideas for trophy shots in the game i'll basically just look it up on google and i'll try and make my trophy shots in game as realistic as possible so there's a little tip for you if you if you were interested i guess this might actually be the one we got out of the stand i don't even know at this point i'm just gonna track it and see if i can find it all right and i found our other one so here he is i think I don't, I don't even know which is which to be honest i think this is the one we shot out of the tree stand and then the other one we claimed was definitely the one that i showed you that i didn't show you guys i can i kind of tell by his rack here a little bit he was literally laying right here uh, okay yeah this is definitely when we shot the tree stand because of that shot oh no you know what this is the one that i shot without you guys that i didn't show you because the arrow is coming out of the front and that's where i shot the other one so the first one we claimed actually was the one that we shot out of the tree stand not too long ago this is the one that i didn't show you guys wow this guy ran a really far away and i literally ran it that way like 200 meters and didn't even see this guy i'm stupid i don't even know man let's just grab him and 181 what was the other one 186 i don't even know how we managed to get that bad of a shot dude that's why you don't take front on shots it was just so out of nowhere that i just took it oh well well he's a pretty nice looking mule deer we're gonna head back over to the stand now and uh, maybe try and call in some elk or hopefully some more monster mule deer. I would love another freaking monster to come out. There's an elk out there, but he's a pretty small bull. So I'm going to head back to the stand now and see if we can get anything else to come out. Alright, so not having any luck so far. Got one more buck here behind us. I think we're going to shoot him, and then I'm going to save room for one more deer for this video, and one more deer for this hunt. There we go. I was tired of waiting. I had to shoot something. Getting a little bored there. <laughs> I haven't shot anything for a while. We drop this guy. Let's get down out of the stand. I'm going to pick up the stand. I'm going to head down the river a little bit, like this way. I had a stand here before, and it was a really good spot. So I'm just going to head down the, the little uh, river and see if I can see anything. Oh, and there's a buck actually calling. Let's grab this guy at the same time. 137. He's a baby. And I bet this buck over here is stuck still. Hold on. Grab our tree stand real quick. Just had that one grunt over here, but I think it's the one that's stuck in the tree right here. Oh, and he just took off. I was going to come over here and put him out of his misery, but <laughs> he took off as soon as I came over here. All right. Well, that is not a problem at all. I'm going to keep on going down the river, like I said. See if we can find ourselves one more nice buck today. Okay, guys, so I was literally just about to set my tree stand up somewhere around this corner, and there's a nice-looking muley right there. Let's see if we can pop this guy with the 300 real quick. Oh, yeah, we smoked him. Hit a little far back than I wanted to, but we're a little bit shaky. I need to upgrade or level up my 300 more so i think as you level up your weapons in this game it uh increases your like accuracy and stability and stuff with them i'm not too sure but that looks like a nice looking muley i wanted to get him with the bow but ah oh, man it was just it was kind of hard for that angle like i said i was gonna bring my tree stand and put it up in one of these trees like i used to have it over here i seen him just sitting there and we dropped him in his tracks let's go grab this guy right now because that Oh, I thought my game just crashed. Uh, we gotta go through the 
nicer part of water or shallower part of water here but yeah let's go grab this guy real quick all right let's see what this guy scores that is a nice looking muley i wonder if this guy's gonna score higher than my other one uh 240 baby holy smokes what a monster oh my gosh holy crap dude i think we're gonna be like freaking top 50 on the leaderboard holy shit that is sick oh my gosh that's a monster muley right there let's get a, a a trophy shot set up here holy shit i'm freaking oh my gosh that is amazing and boom i think that'll work let's see if we can find one that looks good i don't even think we really need one need a filter that is a monster look at that muley right there man 240 we are definitely gonna be taxidermizing him holy smokes i was not expecting that today that was well worth going down the the river there all right guys so here you go that is our new personal best mule deer a 240 on timber gold trails this was my old one off of loggers point it was a 200 look at the difference man wow look at that monster up there on the right what a beauty dude if you can't tell i love mule deer <laughs> got four of them in here now wow all right well it hasn't updated on the leaderboard yet. I tried resetting everything, but it hasn't popped up. But you can see my older one is 200, and it looks like 240s is around like 30-ish range. I couldn't, I don't remember what, like how big exactly it was. But I think it's going to be anywhere in between like 35 and 40 position, or 35 and yeah, around there. So yeah, there we go, guys. My new personal best mule deer, and there he is on our gallery. That is an absolute monster, man. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you want to see more of the Hunter Classic content. I've really been enjoying this game. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.